this may be the best shooting team that she's had at Georgia Tech. Yeah, she hadn't had scoring power like this. And, you know, they have a roster where they don't go deep. They got shooters all day, huh? As we take a look at the Georgia Tech Five, and you notice that Kayla Blackshear is back in the lineup. A steal by Hidalgo as she shoots the gap on Morgan, lays it in. Horseshoes off the rebound, Nuero for the Yellow Jackets. Georgia Tech is at its best when it's pushing the pace, and Blackshear rim to rim gets the lay. Nothing better, as you know, Haley, than going rim to rim and getting rewarded for it, right? Oh, it's the best. If you don't get rewarded, you're not going to run as hard the next few that's possessions. A, that's a blocking foul, scored and won. Yeah, and you see right here on this nice pass, good roll, and Watson just goes strong. Augusta Knights, you have to protect that basketball if you're around Hannah Hidalgo. Her hands are so quick, she will pick your pocket. Quick hands, great vision there on the slip to Watson. Yeah. The Wolf with a hezzy. Bounces away, Citron, terrific from three, bangs it down. Even though they didn't score on that possession, that was a solid possession for Georgia Tech in the zone. That was a good shot. Now West Bell's turn to let it fly. We saw a lot of that at shoot around earlier today. <laughs> the Irish have scored, Maddie West Bell drilling this one. With the shot clock winding down, Morgan wasn't able to convert. Inside of a minute, first quarter, the drive and dish. And the three good again. Citron again. We got to locate her. You noticed in that first quarter, Haley, that Georgia Tech was running into the trap against the 2-3 zone of driving baseline. And that's never a good idea against the 2-3. Oregon got DeWolf to lead her feed. Nowero relocating to the corner. Good for three. And that's what Tony Morgan has to do. Olivia Miles and how she can distribute the basketball. But Hannah Hidalgo, she can do it too. Another steal in the passing lane. Racing down floor on Morgan and one. She leads the nation in steals. Just the rhythm of the dribbles, it's really amazing to see. Her eyes are always on the ball following it. And her speed taken off in the open court, you're not catching her. No, she's fast. Yeah. And, and against Tony. And another thing you hadn't seen, Georgia Tech hasn't gotten to the free throw line. It's no attacking to get to the paint because the three's not falling. You got to figure something out. Now Watson continuing to attack. Yeah, they got to do more than just passing in this zone. And Notre Dame's just staying with it because it's working. The Wolf over the shoulder, off the feed from Hidalgo, and that is textbook. Trying to get that offensive board and work, but you just see this nice lob pass, baseball pass by Hidalgo straight to the Wolf with three tech defenders. It can't always be your go to move because that's how they're going to scout you. So I think as she continues to develop, she's going to have to think about how she's being scouted and how, those, how to make those adjustments. Meanwhile, Hidalgo threads the needle. Here's Dunn for three. Good. Here at Dunn have been looking for that all night long. Her first made three in five attempts. Only Georgia Tech's fourth of the game. Branford drives into a traffic. Recovered by the Irish. Their name humming along at 48% from the field. They're one of the best shooting teams in America. Away from South Bend. 49% from the field. Kylie Watson, the junior from Linwood, New Jersey. She has been a presence tonight. Hidalgo got the blow by and another and one for Hannah Hidalgo. She is just putting a master class together. An on ball screen, they just can't find an answer. She's hit him with a stop and go maybe two or three times, and it's worked every single time to get it to the rim. It's one of the best things that they do, but when it's not falling, you've got to find another answer, and I don't think they found that tonight. Hidalgo with a hezzy, the step back on the window. Oh, wow. Laredo is solid defense. She's staying in front of her, but. She just hit her with a nice cross step back, and it was nothing but net. I'll go trying to play pick and roll. Lobs down to West Bell, clearing space on Nuero. Got the mismatch and got the finish. You know, she's a strong finisher. When she's capable of finishing at the rim, she can attack. Dalgo from deep. And then she gives Nuero a look like, yeah. yeah. Georgia Tech head coach Nell Fordner, who, of course, succeeded her as Team USA head coach. Deep catch by Watson, shovels to Citron, fit on the lane. Passes on the three, Nuero instead, no good. Scrap for the tap, and controlled by Blackshear, able to save it to Dunn. Finds Nuero, fit on the lane, so bank it home for two and a foul. Right. You see right here, Nuero drives to the lane and gets the and one. Now head coach of Old Dominion who won a gold medal 
in the 2000 Olympics with a head coach named Nell Fordner. Here's a three by Don. That's good. Where it's never easy no matter what the opponent you're facing. Well, yeah, I know maybe that zone won't be the same with Wake. Nice back door, but they're definitely going to work on the zone. Yeah, hey, you feel better than good. You feel great. <laughs> I mean, this is a great road win for them to get, especially after having such a big outing at UConn. So they're just going to keep carrying this momentum in the second half of AC ACC play. They're looking good. Even since she made the transfer from Buffalo to Syracuse, is she still clicking on all cylinders? She almost became a better scorer. She has. I think she has. Lob in low, and Obina finishes. As we come up on one minute in this ball game. Done with the extra pass, Augusta Knight. That is a good one more. And Augusta Knight. Piano was on the back of the Yellow Jackets tonight. As Neil Ivy's club comes into Atlanta. And will walk away with an 85-48 win.